friends, welcome to the Art Lab in a Box. Today, we are going to paint a chihuahua. So if you got a chihuahua in your box, this one is for you. All you need for this is your watercolor paper that was inside your box, some paint water, a paintbrush, your black marker that was in your, in your box, a pencil, a paint palette, and of course, a trusty towel in case you make a mess. All right, go ahead and get all of your things ready and press play when you are ready to begin. So to start off my Chihuahua, I'm gonna do his head. So we're gonna find the middle of the page, which is about here for me. Go ahead and find the middle of your page. Where is it? Great. Okay, so now we are going to do a circle going upwards towards the top of the page. Okay, I'll show you mine, then you go ahead and do yours. Mine is about the size of like a medium pancake. And do you see how it's kind of oval shaped? That's okay, I think I'm gonna leave it. My um, chihuahua is going to have an oval shaped head. Go ahead and draw yours. Okay, great, let's do the next step. If you're not ready yet, feel free to pause the video at any time, okay? All right, so one of the distinctive features on Chihuahuas are their big ears. So I'm gonna do some big ears. I'm gonna do two dots almost in the corner of my page. These are gonna be the tip of my Chihuahua ears. So to do my ears, I'm gonna dip in a little bit, just like that. And then I'm gonna close up the other side of the ear like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, starting from my dot. I'm gonna dip in, perfect. And then on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. And there you go. Go ahead, it's your turn. Make two big chihuahua ears. All right, great, let's do the next step. Now I'm gonna do a line underneath the top of my ear, just like this. Okay, this is gonna be kind of the top of the Chihuahua's ear, like a top flap of his ear, or her ear, or their ear. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here, starting from the corner, coming out thicker until I go there. I'm pressing nice and hard on my paper so that my pencil is dark so you can see it good, but try to not press too dark in case you wanna erase something. All right, go ahead and add yours. All right, now let's do the next step. I think it's time to do some eyes. So I'm gonna do some big eyes on my Chihuahua. If you've seen a Chihuahua, or if you're holding your Chihuahua, they have these big circle, beady kind of eyes. So I'm gonna do two like this, like the size of Toonies. Try to do it the same size. If one's so big and one's so small, you just take your eraser, erase it, press pause on the video, take your time, okay? All right, go ahead, do your two eyeballs. They can be closer together if you want. These are where I am choosing to do mine. And what's special is that you and I are very different artists, so our two puppies, they will not look the same. They can't, we're not the same. All right, let's do the next step. The next step is going to be these half moon shapes underneath, on the bottom, sorry, not underneath, on the bottom of the eyeballs. Just like that, go ahead and, and add your two half moon. See how it's kind of a moon shape here? All right, and then we're gonna add some details to the eye by adding smaller circles on the inside, just like this. All right, and then some reflections here, and that's it. All right, go ahead and do your tiny little bubbles inside your eyeballs. All right, and then next, let's 
add in, you know what? I'm gonna do some light colored X's here to remind me that we're gonna paint those black, okay? Add some X's in there. All right, great. Now, to add a little more details, let's add a couple rainbow shapes above the eyes for his eyebrows. Just like that. Go ahead, it's your turn. Oh no, I've gotten something on my paper. If this happens to you, just try to erase it off. It happens. After we've done our eyebrows, let's skip to the next step. I'm gonna do a little nose here in the middle. I'm gonna make mine a heart shape. You can do a circle if you want. I'm gonna do a heart just because that's what I like. All right, when your heart nose is finished or just your nose is finished, you may have done this before. We're gonna do a couple of J shapes. There's a backwards J like that for the mouth. Oh my goodness, he's starting to look very cute, this Chihuahua. And I'm gonna add a bonus little tongue because my friend had a Chihuahua named Mika and Mika's tongue was always sticking out, always. Every day, nighttime, it was just the way he was made. So I thought he was very cute and that's what I'm gonna do. Go ahead and finish your mouth. All right, next, we're gonna add a tiny little neck for our Chihuahua because they have little necks, just like that. Go ahead and add your little neck, just two lines. You can do it a bit longer if you like. Just like that, perfect. And now we are going to add a body. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna make the body pretty small because if you've seen a Chihuahua, they are tiny. So I am just gonna do a kind of like a curved line going down, just like that. And the same thing on the other side. Just like that. And if you make a mistake, just erase it. Okay, great. Go ahead and add your body on. Okay, great. Next, let's add some little legs. We're gonna add one leg here and one leg here. And then I'm gonna put little paws at the bottom. And then I'm gonna close the body up like that. All right, go ahead and do your two front paws. All right, and now I am gonna add in some back paws. Just like that. Go ahead and add some back paws. All right, and now we're gonna add a little tail. Chihuahuas have kind of short tails, I think. Just like that. Okay, add your tail and then we can put some little extra details that we like. So for extra details, I think I'm going to do a collar on mine. You can go ahead and add a collar on yours. I like to have collars on my pets just in case they get lost. What shape collar should I do? Maybe I will do a circle just like this. And what else can I add? Maybe I'll add a little heart detail to their ear, just cause it's cute. And I'm gonna add some hair, cause why not a little fluff of hair? That is very cute. Okay, and I'm gonna add in a rug for the Chihuahua to sit on. Gonna do a few rings going around my chihuahua. Cool. There we go. There's my chihuahua. It is looking great. I think this puppy is very cute. I wish I could see yours. I wonder what yours looks like. Does it look good? I got a little bit of paint on mine, but if you got anything on yours, like fingerprints or anything, we can just paint over it, so don't worry. All right, so finish up your puppy, and when you are done, 
go ahead and press play again and we are going to start painting. Okay, great, I am so excited. It's time to paint, which is my favorite part. So, something important I have to tell you is we can paint our puppy however we want. We can do it any color. It doesn't have to look like the puppy we got. It can look anything, any way you want in any color you want. So one thing I wanna point out though is that we should do the eyes black because when you do the eyes black, it makes it just makes it look real. So let's start with, with those black eyes. I'm gonna start by dipping my paintbrush into my paint water and rubbing it into my paint for at least five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna add a little more water and rub it for five more seconds. One, two, three, four, five. So I should have lots of paint on my brush and I'm gonna paint around the little circles. So if you have a thinner paintbrush you would like to use, you can get that. I'll show you mine. I have one that looks like this. So you can use your thicker one on most of it. And then if you need to get around some details, use the thinner brush that came with your palette. There you go. So I'm gonna do my other eye, just so you can see how I do this. Paint around the two little circles like this. And then we're gonna paint over my X's cause that's where I needed to paint black. Cause if you don't paint this part of the eyeball black, your puppy will kind of look like an alien a little bit, which is kind of fun. So if you wanna try it, go for it. But if that's not what you want, I just wanted to show you this trick first. Oh, right, this is so relaxing. All right, there we go. We have our two eyes. And as for the rest of it, you can paint it whatever color you want. I'm probably gonna make like a brown and beige chihuahua, I think. And I'll probably make the carpet rainbow. But you guys can paint it however you want. I'm gonna make the video go really fast over me painting mine, just so you can quickly see how I paint mine. And then I want you to press pause after that and paint all of yours, okay? So go ahead and watch me finish painting this and then press pause and it's your turn, all right? Let's go. Okay, I have finished painting all of my puppy. I'm so happy with it. Now I just need to wait for it to dry so that we can do the outline with our black marker. Okay, so while we're waiting for our painting to dry, we can either uh, blow on it to speed up the process, fan it, or we can just wait. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna put away my paint stuff and wash my paint jar and clean my paintbrush and move my stuff out of the way just like this. All right, so go ahead and press pause and play again when your painting is dry and ready for the next step, okay? We are pretty much all dry here. So let's get our black marker 
and trace. This part is really simple. All you have to do is trace over your pencil lines. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna make the dog pop. So you'll see what I mean. You can start anywhere you want and just start tracing all of your pencil marks. With your black marker like this, it makes everything look really finished and really nice, even the eyeballs around like this. Even trace around the black. Get your little circles eyebrows and that's it and trace your whole puppy okay so go ahead and trace your whole puppy and then press play again when you finish that and we'll finish this off all right see you in a bit Okay, mine is all done being traced. I think it's so cute and it's so fun. This rainbow rug is so fun. My chihuahua is looking amazing. Oh, I just forgot to trace this circle. There you go. So the final thing you have to do, you are the artist. Let's sign our name. I have, This is my artist signature and I even like to write the date, 2021, the year, uh, just in case I see it later on and I wanna know when I made it. So I, Bet yours is looking incredible. I'm so proud of you for finishing this and you should hang up your painting because it looks amazing. So have a great day guys. I enjoyed drawing with you and I'll see you next time at the Art Lab in a Box. Yeah!